Lil Zay Osama is a Chicago drill rapper who's been building a buzz. But last week, he got arrested on IG Live after he allegedly left his gun in an Uber, and now he's facing 20 years in prison. Here's what's going down. On Thursday, September 29th, Zay got booked on a weapons charge in Brooklyn. He took an Uber with his homies, and the driver allegedly saw him playing with a gun. After they got dropped off at their spot, the driver allegedly found Zay's Glock in the back seat and called the cops. Zay was on IG Live when the cops rolled up on him. He kept asking, what's happening? And the cops just told him to put his hands behind his back and that he's being detained. What's happening? Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. What happened? We're gonna short it all up. We're gonna short it all up. What is going on? We're gonna short it all up. I'm the man of the shot. He's being detained right now. The cops asked him if he had anything on him, and Zay told him he was on live. And that's when the video cuts off. Yeah, you, got, you got anything on you? I'm on live. I'm on live, sir. According to the prosecutor, Zay's pistol was a modified Glock 22. Zay already has weapons convictions from Chicago, and Double XL reported that he had two outstanding warrants too. New York don't play when it comes to guns, and an assistant district attorney said the crimes charged in this case are extremely serious and confirm that the defendant is a danger to the community. For one. The defendant possessed a particularly deadly weapon that had been converted from a handgun capable of shooting just one bullet each time the trigger is squeezed to having the capability of firing until the trigger is lifted. Right now, Zay is being held without bond, but hopefully he got a good lawyer to help him out of the situation. New York is damn near the last place you want to get caught with a gun, especially one that's been modified with a switch. A couple months ago, Zay went on the No Jumper podcast and talked about how he wasn't trying to get caught up in any gun cases. He said, I'm thinking in my mind, like, damn, I do need to go get concealed carry shit. I'm in this position. I can't let nothing stop me or get in the way, you feel me? So I could be riding around with choppers or handguns and all this type of shit with nobody. Just me. All that police ain't gonna do shit. Unfortunately, it looks like Zay never got the license. But even if he did, it's still illegal having to switch. Zay is from the south side of Chicago and has been making music his whole life. He said he started rapping and singing when he was eight years old. And by the time he was 10, he was already recording his own tracks. But even though he knew he wanted to make music, Zay jumped off the porch at a young age and started getting in trouble with the law. When he was coming up, Zay would get booked on little charges and spend some time locked up, but never anything too serious. His dad was always in and out of jail, so Zay's mom raised him and his five siblings all by herself. But while she was at work trying to put food on the table, Zay was running around in the streets getting in trouble. When he was around 11, Zay and his homies would throw rocks at cars when they drove down the street. The cops were getting called to his house while his mom was at work. And eventually, she lost her job at the post office because she had to leave and take care of Zay so the cops wouldn't call CPS and get him taken away. Back then, Zay was just being a bad kid, but it wasn't really serious. Then when he was 15, he got put on house arrest, but was still posted on the block and ended up getting shot. He told DJ Academics that he was chilling on the block with his homies with the ankle monitor still on him, and they ran down the street to see a fight that was going down. That's when some other dudes rolled up and started letting off shots, and Zay ended up getting hit in the chest. The bullet only missed Zay's heart by an inch, and he was rushed to the hospital for treatment. Boom, so I go outside, I'm on the block, man, phone and we chilling, we in, we in the hood and shit. A whole lot of, a whole lot of shit had happened, then some whole style fighting, me and, me and my homie, and we walk down there to go see the whole style fight, fighting and shit. We get down there, something pull up, get the bump, and boom, 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 I get hit in the chest. After they confirmed he was gonna live, the cops cuffed him to the bed for violating his house arrest. Zay told academics that the cops actually gave him a chance to get away. The morning after he got shot, they took off his cuffs and told him they were gonna go grab some donuts. Zay says they told him if he could get up out of the bed and escape before they got back, then he'd be free to go. They left, said, we finna go grab some donuts. If you can get out the bed and leave out this hospital, by the time we get back, you, you, you good to go. My boy, I called him, come get me, gang. Oh my God, they was on their way up there. As soon as they got to the hospital, the police are already walking in there. Cuffed me back up to the bed. Oh, you didn't, you didn't leave, huh? When Zay got booked for violating his house arrest, he was already facing some other charges too. He told DJ Smalls that back in the day, he would rob music video directors and steal their cameras and give them to his own cameraman to shoot videos with. He also robbed people for clothes and jewelry to wear in his music videos. But eventually, it all caught up to Zay and got his homie killed. In 2016, a music video director named Ray Money allegedly got set up by Zay to get robbed by Zay's homie. Ray thought he was showing up to a spot on the south side to shoot a video, but when he got in the building, a dude walked around the corner with his gun already out. Ray was strapped too, and they got into a shootout five feet away from each other, and both of them got hit. 
Ray took a bullet to the hip, but Zay's homie got shot in the head and died on the scene. Zay got hit with a juvenile life sentence when he was 16, which means you stay locked up till you turn 21. But somehow, his paperwork got messed up and he got released early when he was 19. He was listed as a violent juvenile and a habitual offender in the system, and it was rare for them to cut time off your sentence if that was the case. But after they messed up and let him out early, Zay's case actually changed the whole system, and now violent and habitual offenders can cut time off their sentences with good behavior. After he got out, Zay decided to go even harder with the music. He told Audio Mac World, even when I was a child, I already knew I was going to be a star. I was going to be a millionaire and shit. I was buzzing before I went to jail, but when I got out, I saw they were still f***ing with me. The first couple of songs that I dropped got to buzzing, so I was like, I still got it. Zay was putting in work and going to the studio every day, but he still had a foot in the streets. He said, I was in the hood every day, all day, shooting videos, making songs, still out here on my same shit that I was on before I went to jail. Zay was on the music grind for a couple years before it really popped off, but in 2019, he blew up with the track Changed Up and racked up almost 70 million views on YouTube. He was already buzzing in Chicago, but Changed Up took it to a new level. Almost overnight, he became one of the hottest artists in the game, and it led to him signing a major deal with Warner Records. After he dropped his first project, Hood Bible, in 2019, Zay kept it pushing and ain't slowed down. Growing up with nothing made him want to do whatever it took to make it out, and he told Audio Mac, I want to see everybody doing good as me, especially my family, so I gotta make sure of that. I gotta make sure my family and my kids are straight, so I gotta do anything to make them dollars. Zay told DJ Vlad that he missed out on a lot of things when he was in juvie. His first son was born while he was behind bars, and he spent most of his teenage years locked up. I missed out on, on my whole teenage life, really. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the fun stuff. Like, I ain't get to see my, my son balloon, none of that. It seemed like he had turned everything around and was focused on his music career. But now, he's facing decades in prison for the Glock. Hopefully, Zay beats the case and gets back to the grind. Last year, he said, when you get a chance, don't fumble it. Don't play around with it, because you only get one chance and anything can happen any day, any given moment, any time. If the gun is really his, then the situation's not looking great for Zay. But if the only evidence the cops have is what the Uber driver told him, then there's a chance he can beat it. Without pictures or videos, was Zay actually holding the strap? Then there's nothing to prove it's actually his. The fact that he has prior weapons charges on his record definitely don't help right now, but hopefully he's got a good legal team to help him get out of the situation. This story's still developing, so make sure y'all tap in for updates.